much do you think Elizabeth Moss brought to this? Oh, amazing. I mean, she brings uh, what she brings to everything, which is like an emotional depth, uh, a very deep intelligence, um, and a uh, curious expressiveness that it just makes her like incredibly watchable all the time. And I wanted that character to be someone whose presence you miss, which is not on screen. And, uh, there are a few people who can do that. Oh, uh, it's sort of all a blur. I think that my the, the best decision I ever made was in casting Anna. So uh, the day that she showed up on set and started filming, and I knew that I made the right choice. That was probably my favorite day because it was such an important part. Well, it, it was harder than I thought it was going to be. But if I knew how hard it was going to be, I probably wouldn't have done it. So that's okay. Um, Luckily, I had lots of people who I've known for years and worked with many times who I asked to come on and, and help make the movie with me, and they were so overqualified. They were so, so much better than I, anyone deserves to have as a support team, from the producers to the DP and the first AD and the production designer, everybody. Um, that I really, it was, a, it was a strong safety net that I had a lot of confidence in, and, and I felt like I, because of them, I, I couldn't fail too bad. Uh, it's a very personal movie for me. I have two kids, and um, as I, I wanted to direct the movie, and as I was thinking about what it ought to be, uh, I had lots of different ideas, and I sort of settled on the one that felt the closest to me, the one where I felt like no matter what happened, I would, always, I would never lose sight of what the movie was about. Uh, and so, I told the story about trying to raise a kid and defend their parents, and, uh, and that's what ended up being. Well, it's us, there's the mother, and, and I think it's, it's really about sort of uh, a nuclear family sort of being thrown off balance. So, so mom out of the picture, mom gone, you know, what is it like to have a kid around that way? How do you handle all of those conversations by yourself? How do you, there's no, Good job, bad job. There's no balance you can strike, and it, it's hard. And so um, I think that's what I was trying to say something about that. That's, that's the beauty of ignorance sometimes, is that you start not knowing how hard something's going to be, and, and then that, um, you know, once you're going, you have to do it. And I had, I had really the best thing possible around me to help me, um, and it would have just fallen apart without all of them. I mean, that includes Anna. so professional. She could do it a million different ways. She was never bothered by any delays or any changes in schedule. She, she was as professional as you could possibly do.